metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Maybe there's something in here I can use, but not this. Oh, not that. Hmm. How goes it? I'm trying to write something nice for Olga's birthday party today, but I'm having trouble deciding what kind of poem to compose. So it seems that for a birthday, a limerick might be the thing. Though it appears that historically, birthday cards contained more quatrains. Um, your thing isn't poems, so it's best to leave the writing to the writers. And Wally's already got a great rhyme going. Our owl, never foul. Your party job today will instead consist of... Fireworks. No, I can't do this. I've never even made fireworks. Why, the science behind it could take days. You can handle it. When's the last time having to learn something new ever stopped you? Just make them colorful and you can't go wrong. Whoa! Oh, hey, Wally. How's it going? Well... Great! I need your help. I'm in charge of fireworks for Olga's party. Good for you. Oh, thank you. But the problem is I've never made fireworks. I don't know how to. Sure, science loves an explosion once in a while. Help me! I need to make the fireworks pretty. But I... How do I do that? Fill me with your sage advice, please. Fireworks, is it? Fireworks are like light from the darkness. Fire exploding like popcorn in a microwave. But mostly light, I think. Um... That's it! Here's what I'll do! I need to learn about light, where light comes from, and then I can recreate it! <gasps> Thank you! Found the source of all light! Oh, my scapula! Well, no, I'm pretty sure it's not from there. <laughs> Whether it's light from the sun, a desk lamp, anything, all light is the same. It's made from electromagnetic waves. These waves reflect off of everything around us, which allows us to see things, like this poor butterfly who's about to be captured by Rosa. But color is where things get a little more complicated. The wavelength determines which colors we see, from fast violet to slow red. It may seem like a flashlight has no color. It's just a basic white. But actually, it's made of every color in the spectrum. You can't see it normally unless you shine it through a glass prism. Then voila, every color of the rainbow. This same concept can brighten up an otherwise gloomy rainstorm. Raindrops act as lots of tiny prisms. When sunlight hits these raindrops, we get to see a beautiful rainbow. The order of colors in the rainbow can easily be remembered like this. Roy G. Bibb stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But we use a sillier method. Richard of York gave battle in vain. Brilliant, isn't it? 
Jacko, I'm lost. I, I don't know that guy. Don't you see what all of this means? This means I can finally understand fireworks. It's about the colors. With this knowledge, we can put together the best kind of, you know, colorful fireworks. So this party's about to be saved by electromagnetic waves. Uh, okay. So how do you actually make the fireworks? Well, that answer is easy. You make them by, um, well, um, oh, why didn't I read this? Huh. Hey there, our firework man. I trust everything is good. I can't wait to see what he comes up with. Fireworks for the ages. Yeah, right. I just need a bit uh, more time to make them. Hm. Would you ask me for help with this? I thought chemistry was your thing anyway, Jocko. It started with a bang, a boom boom, but then fire, explosions, and then explosion, 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 but then a boom boom, then that's how June went. <laughs> what were we talking about? that go whoosh, and then pew, 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 pew. Oh. My fireworks are perfect. They're perfect. It all fell into place. Excuse oh. me, but these are my fireworks. It's a dream. You passed out from exhaustion. That's great, but I'm still confused. Did you invent the fireworks? I'm the physicist Niels Bohr. Fireworks came from the Tang Dynasty. I'm more about atoms. In fact, I got a Nobel Prize for my discovery of how atoms contain radiation. Amazing! So nice to meet you! But why all the fireworks? That is a great question. What do you know about atoms? Atoms contain a nucleus and electrons. Electrons orbit the nucleus like planets around a sun. So, can an atom be a source of light? I suppose it's possible. Energy can go to a nucleus, which converts that over to the electron. But electrons are always trying to pass off their excess energy. An electron can't spend too long bouncing around far away from the nucleus, so the energy has to come out of it a different way. It would only make sense that the excess energy is released in the form of electromagnetic waves. Phenomenal! You got it. And what color would that be if it's being bounced off the electron? That depends on what kind of atom it is. Every substance is slightly different, and that would affect which color is surrounding the electron. It... I finally get it! I get it! 
And so, if we look at the properties of the atoms, we'll see their color properties change. It's really a feat of scientific achievements. Look, let's take sodium. Sodium burns a yellow hue, while barium burns more greenish. Blue is copper, and white is titanium and aluminum. These compounds are so fascinating. The electrons exploding in colorful. The atoms! Fireworks are just a show of all the atoms. Just atoms! Uh, are these the, uh, fireworks? And Adam who? Um, fireworks were invented in, um, the Tang Dynasty in China. And then it took many years to be improved for the use of home and businesses. I promise that for Olga's next birthday, there will be the most amazing fireworks anyone's ever seen. You'll be able to see them today! You forgot your fireworks upstairs. Luckily, I saw it and brought it down. Here, prepare yourselves for a birthday great fireworks festival. Go ahead, Daco, light them. You made them yourself. Hey, just roll with it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> what a marvel. Confetti fireworks for my birthday. I'm touched. <laughs> Thank you so much. What great friends. That was it? But fireworks are a conglomeration of sciences. Maybe I got it all wrong. I overthought it. Don't worry. Your only crime is overcomplicating things. Just have fun! I can't do that. I just research. Doing anything requires research. And preparation for more research. And so on. If you want to learn something new, just go do it. That's the most fun way. No way. I don't know a thing about dancing. I'd have to study its origins, its methodology. Oh, wait. I'm doing it again. Oh, what's the point? It's a party! Niels Bohr, a scientist from Denmark, won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922 for his study of atoms. His findings led to the advancements in nuclear fission. Dance on, tiny Niels.